Hey guys, it's Dr. Kreshu here. I'm a chiropractor in London, Ontario, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Dow Wagger or Dow Wagger's hump and what you can do about it if you are developing it or if you have developed it. So a couple things about this. Now, what I'm talking about, let's just make sure that we're on the same page. So a Dow Wagger's hump is beyond just having a slouch posture, it's when an actual hump or bump starts to develop um, at the, the top of your thoracic spine or your, your lower cervical spine, depending on how you want to look at it. And there's a big difference between having bad structure and having bad posture. If you have a bad posture, so if, I, if I'm sitting in this position and you were to say to me, hey, straighten up, I can straighten up, right? So I can, I can change my posture instantly. When it starts to become bad structure, like in the dowager's hump, um, and please bear with me, exercises are, are coming. It's just important that you understand the why behind the exercises. But bad structure means that you can physically, you cannot get into those positions because the, the movement is actually lacking. So the scar tissue has built up or the degeneration has built up to the point where you are physically unable to get back into that position. So the first recommendation that I have for you is that you get examined by anyone that works on, on structure. You know, I, I, I would love to say a chiropractor because that's what I do and that's what we see. But you wanna make sure that, remember our job here in this practice and the way that we practice, and of course there's many different chiropractors that do different things, but our job is to ensure that your nerve system, sorry, your spine is moving well, which positively affects the movement of the vertebrae and it helps restore or at least give you the potential for restoring this position. Okay, and the sooner that you get started on this, the better. So typically what starts to happen first if you're developing this is there's a fatty deposit that starts to happen at the base of your neck. And now remember, your body adapts to the environment in which you put it in. So if you're spending a lot of your time, and it's not just forward head position, there's things that happen with your shoulders as well, which I'll talk about when it comes to the exercises. But if you notice that you're spending a lot of your time in a forward head position with your shoulders slouched in forward, you know, what your body is going to do is it, it, it I mean, for lack of, of better terminology, it feels like your, your body thinks that your head's gonna fall off. So what it does is it starts to put some fatty deposits that if you don't change the environment that you're in, eventually will turn into this hump. So how can we undo this? Well, the first exercise, again, first thing that you want to do is get examined and start actually changing the structure of your spine. The second thing that you can start to do, and you can do this at home, you'll need a foam roller. And I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, now I know that you've seen this exercise before. I'm not recommending that you take a foam roller and you start doing this up and down your spine very quickly. I am recommending, particularly if you have a bad dowager's hump, that you interlock your hands and you're gonna have to support your head because it's gonna be really uncomfortable for your head to come back. And I want the foam roller at the part of the curve that's the highest. So you're gonna find where the curve is and you're going to lean back, supporting your head so there's not a lot of strain on these muscles up here. And you're gonna hold this position and you're gonna let your head naturally come back and this does a couple things number one it also starts to help your shoulders another thing that people with the wedges how humps have is they lack proper shoulder mobility if your spine is in this position and you're locked in this position I can't get my shoulders over my head so restoring back to this position is one of the ways that you can get it now I want you to do this for one minute every day and if you can do it for one minute pain-free, then work up to two minutes. And the most I want you to spend every day doing that is 15 minutes. So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is helping to open up your shoulders. So if you spend your time, so if I do this with my arms, so this motion here is shoulder internal rotation, which is what happens in this type of posture. So in order to undo that, we want to create the exact opposite posture. So if you're doing any type of pec stretches or shoulder stretches, I want you to do them with your palms up towards the ceiling. And if you can, you know, you want to open up your palms as much as possible because what that does is that adds that extra 
bit of mobility to your shoulder. So one of the things that I do if I'm walking around or spending a lot of time working on my computer, which I do, I open up my shoulders like this and I'll spend a little bit of time with my shoulders back and down. The other thing that we wanna start thinking about is your head position. So there's two things that happen when you spend time in this position. The bottom of your neck flexes like this and then the top of your neck extends like this. So it's not just your head comes forward, it's the bottom of your neck comes forward, but then the top of your neck comes up like this. So now we have to undo that position. So we want the bottom of our neck to come back and the top of our head to come in like this. So this is called a neck retraction. So you want to practice, and it's gonna be hard, right? Especially if you're in this position, Doing neck retractions is going to be very, very challenging, but it's an important motion to, um, to teach your neck. So that's exercise number three. Number one is the foam roller. Number two is the open up your shoulders, palms to the ceiling. Uh, number three is the neck retraction. And number four, and you're gonna need some type of gym membership, and this is why this is the, the fourth one, the muscles that are responsible for pulling your shoulder blades back and down are the ones that are responsible for helping you um, do pull-ups. So any type of lifting or pull-up when you go to the gym. And if you're new to this, you should probably create a video on how to do this, but you wanna start just by hanging from a bar. Actually, you know what? Yes, that's what you should do, but if you have made it this far into the video and you need help with that exercise, comment on the post below and I can get you the resources necessary to learn how to do that because I don't have them here in the practice and, uh, and it's much too complicated to try to explain it to you. I'd rather show it to you. Now, if you have any comments or questions, please post them below and if you found this video helpful, uh, then share it with somebody who you think you can benefit. <laughs> having trouble speaking today, but what I wanted to say was have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.